Hi, I'm Jeannie and this is Craft Jeannie. Today, since it is now fall, at least the calendar tells us it's fall, the weather is not cooperating, we're going to make what I like to call a bowl cozy. That's this little item. Uh, if you've ever made a bowl of soup and you take it out of the microwave and it's hot and you're trying to hold it with a pot holder, well this is like a pot holder but shaped like a bowl. The nice thing about this is it'll hold a few different sizes of bowls. Uh, I've got a regular soup bowl that'll fit in there just nice and it'll hold it like that. And if you have even a bigger soup bowl, like these larger ones, still fits inside, still holds nice and snug. The nice thing with this is that you can actually microwave with this. You can put your bowl in here, put your soup, and put the whole thing in the microwave. Now if you're going to microwave it, make sure you make this out of cotton, not polyester. I haven't tried it, but I've heard polyester doesn't do well. So you'll want to make your little cozy out of cotton. They're quick and easy. They make out of a little tiny scrap of fabric. So let's go ahead and get started. I've gathered my materials and here's what we have to have for this project. You'll want two squares that are 10 inches by 10 inches. Uh, you want a front and a contrasting back and these are both just cotton. And then you want two 9 inch squares of cotton batting. Now if you can see this is a very thin cotton batting. It's going to be double so it'll be warm enough, but you don't want it too thick or this is going to become very bulky and it won't sew up well. What we're going to do is on the back side square up your batting and just put a couple pins to hold it in place. On the back side and square up the batting and pin it in place. Now we want to sew the batting down and what we're going to do is just sew across corner to corner. You can get all fancy and do all of your quilting and whatever you want, but basically really just need a seam to hold the batting in place. You can do a straight stitch. I think I'm going to do a little decorative stitch with this one. But let me go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and do that stitch. Okay, I've got my top stitching done. On the outside piece I went ahead and put a little bit of a fancy stitch that my machine does. I thought that would look nice. And on the back piece I put just a straight stitch because that's all you really need. Like I said, all we're doing is just holding the batting in place. So we will turn them over and now we're going to do a little bit of measuring and this is going to make that little bowl part. I want you to draw a little line. I would normally use a pencil. I'm going to use a sharpie because I want you to be able to see it. Oops, I almost can't see that one. Okay. We're going to go from the cotton. I'm going to measure down two and one quarter inches. So two and a quarter inch all the way around. Two and a quarter inches. Two and a quarter. And two and a quarter. Now go to this center point and we're going to measure out one inch to either side. Let me show you that again. We're just going to connect it, make a little, a little V shape. Now you're going to sew right on top of that red line that you did. So I'm going to cut it just to the inside, leave myself a little room for a seam allowance. I don't know why I'm 
using my small scissors. This is much better. Again, leave a little tiny seam allowance. And then we will take and sew this. I'm going to fold it back and just sew right along that red line. So let me stitch this up and I'll come right back. I've sewn all four darts. You can see all the way around. Flip it over and you can see it's already turning into a little bowl, bowl shape as it is. Uh, just double check your darts and make sure that they all sew. You caught every seam. That's good. And we'll switch to the front. Now. We would go through and measure it just like we did, but there's actually a shortcut you can do. If you find that you're going to be making several of these like I plan on doing, you don't want to stop and draw and measure every single one. So what I did was I made a little pattern. It is the same size as the batting, so instead of having to go through and, like I said, measure, I've already got it here. And just save yourself the time of doing that. Uh, like I said, you're going to make a bunch of them. We like our shortcuts. So there you go. I will, like I said, we're sewing on that, so I'm going to cut just inside the dart area. take this over to the sewing machine and close up these darts. We're just about done. We'll fold it. I'll start here and stitch it all the way through. Again, we've got all four darts. Check the inside, make sure they're all sewn. And there you go. So we have the back and the front. You want to turn one of them inside out because you're gonna put pretty side to pretty side. Sandwich them together. You wanna to be able to see the cotton bedding on the outside. And what we're gonna do is sew all the way around the edge, just on the barely the edge of the cotton. We're gonna leave about this much space open so that we can flip it right side out. So let me get this pin together and we will stitch it closed. We're just about done. I've sewn the two pieces together and left our little gap and I'm not sure if you can see but I just barely caught the cotton in my stitch. You really don't want a lot of that to be flipped over because it's going to cause too much thickness. Before you flip it, I want you to cut the extra fabric off the corners. This will make it turn a lot nicer. Be careful not to cut your seam. And now we're going to flip it right side out. We are just about done. The last thing I'm going to do is a little seam all the way around the edge. I'm going to press it first so this edge lies flat and then just do a stitch all the way around the outside to hold that tight. We finished it off. I finished sewing it. I took it over to my ironing board and pressed the edges and then just about, oh, eighth of an inch from the edge, I put a seam all the way around. It closed off the opening and put a nice little finish on it. Now your bowl cozy is ready for your bowl. Your nice hot bowl of soup or chili and there you go. Give it a try.